Mahalingam, the text we just heard was written by the mother. It was called a dream. Do you think that this dream is going to be realized in Auroville? See, dream, it was a dream, but the dream of the divine consciousness. So it is going to be. There is no doubt about it. But we are taking the very first steps only now. Auroville is named after Sri Aurobindo, the great revolutionary seer of modern India. Sri Aurobindo is so many things and he has been so many things in his lifetime. You know? He described himself as above all uh, a poet and a political leader. And it was as a political leader that he started his career in India. In his spiritual explorations, I think we can say that he's made a unique contribution. One way of describing that new step that he's taken is to say that he has made a synthesis between the traditional Indian idea or knowledge of the divine dwelling within the heart of all creatures and the Western insight of an evolutionary process. Auroville was founded by the mother, the spiritual companion of Sri Aurobindo, who had come from France to be at his side and work with him. For me, the most striking two aspects of the mothers is the incredible sweetness and detailed gesture of love which she could let flow into me, which made her so, so intimate. Like the word says, there was no fear intimate when you were in front of her. And the other one, really a sense of a dimension beyond our concept, when she was in her full majesty, as it were. The mother launched the project of Auroville and guided its beginnings until her passing in 1973. For me, the most direct and concrete experience is when she was talking about Auroville. Because I think she had at that time, also for her, it was truly an adventure. She did also not know what is meant with this. She didn't know whether she would be physically present. She didn't know what actually would happen, whether people would come. But she says, I see caravans of people coming. So she really invited you physically as a leader into the jungle for an adventure. That was the feeling. You came out of her room with a sense, yeah, I want to go on to this adventure. She offered the earth a place where those willing to hasten the evolution of a new consciousness could devote themselves to the realization of human unity. There is a secret spirit, Sri Aurobindo said, a divine reality in which we are all one. On February 28, 1968, youth representing 124 countries put a handful of their native soil into a lotus-shaped urn on an arid plateau in South India. The mother gave the future city its charter. Auroville was born. The most uh, incredible thing it was the, pre the physical presence of mother, because we, we could go to see her, we could ask her. In 1972, work started on the Matri Mandir. Surely, uh, there, there was uh, such a energy, such positive energy, no? 
I don't know if, if we still have now this possibility of to be all together and build together and do everything together. No? The Matri Mandir is a place, Mother said, for trying to find one's consciousness. Over the past 35 years, inspired by the Charter and eager to translate the dream into reality, people from all over the world have been drawn to this land. At one time, the region where Orville is located was a barren plateau of red earth. But now, more than two million trees and massive erosion control have transformed the land. In Orville altogether, a lot of soil and water conservation has been done over the years and less and less water travels to the sea and the canyons are silting up and trees are coming in them. Hopefully it will help uh, our aquifer, but definitely it has helped our environment. On this land, a city is progressively taking shape. It has four basic zones. This is residential zone here. Then this is cultural zone. This is in the industrial zone and this is international zone. Apart from it, it also has a feature of central area which is called peace area which houses Matre Mandir and lake. It is very interesting to note that uh, Auroville has a population of 2000 people and out of that approximately 1200 are adults and these 1200 adults they are creating the employment for approximately 5000 people from the surrounding area. So one of the aims which the mother has given for Auroville is to realize human unity. How is that to be done? How to find unity? That's very, uh, that's the most difficult question because I think today we are about 35 different nationalities and uh, everyone comes with his own background and his own difficulties also. This great ideal of human unity is not going to be realized by any kind of social or political reorganization, although that may help. It can only be realized when spiritual values become the basis for society.